So I'd just like to take everyone in a brief tour of uh, what's on the vehicle. So, come with me. Firstly, some of the changes uh, that we've made is uh, we've gone to a uh, position of four operational seating, so we have uh, rotating seats in the front and allows us to get an additional operating position within the vehicle. Uh, we've included a, uh, a PC for activating the system in transit, so it allows us to actually start all the computers the, uh, um, and all the systems on the truck to actually, before we actually get to the fire. Some of the features that we have on the on the vehicle are uh, they're not 100% functional yet because we are in the final stages of commissioning, but a full touch screen for use of EMAP uh, and those type of systems, and then a, a range of screens and uh, and the like, so we can continue to manage and monitor what's occurring. The mask camera at the back, you can just see this; it's turned on at the moment. Uh, that will uh, is able to be raised. We can raise that about four and a half meters. Uh, and give, it is uh, controlled from the vehicle and allows 360 degree uh, visual feed back into the vehicle. So we have a number of cameras, so this is one of three cameras on the vehicle. We have a body worn camera, so it's a, a, a personal uh, camera that goes on like a, uh, a GoPro and that gives live video feed in here as well, as well as a deployable camera on a tripod. And so we can get three different angles, three different video feeds back into the vehicle so that the incident controller, divisional commander, whoever's working from the vehicle can make you know, rapid decisions. So some of the other um, advancements that we've done on this vehicle is we've included hydraulic stabilizers. The uh, previous vehicles were electric, these ones are hydraulic. And we've also upgraded the satellite dish to, a, uh, to one that has a lot less maintenance uh, uh, requirements on that, on that dish. So it's, it's designed for mobile transit so the kids are able to get a little rain and a little bit of uh, road grime and dirt and it doesn't cause any maintenance issues. So again, a, a bit of an advancement in regards to the satellite platform. So anywhere in Victoria, um, it's all independent of the, uh, the normal uh, telephone and uh, 4G system. It's done via satellite. Uh, and we can get yeah, directly back into uh, uh, the CFA networks, into our ICCs, and have that good information flow from the field back into our incident control centres. So it's one of the key advantages of this style of vehicle, is that linking from the data perspective uh, between all of our sites.